okay hey youtube what's up as you can see it's master g one two three four again here at your service okay again i'm gonna remake the video this is my remake of the video i did earlier the movie review of kumbagish so here we go because the audio was scratching the first one so i had to remake this video because of that so fans here's the review you'll be waiting for welcome to seen unseen movie reviews presented to you by sp productions today we'll be reviewing none other than the biggest body movie of 2009 and that is combat ish 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 stars the king of Bollywood right now akshay kumar whose body sits in the past like free hair fairy no must say london sing is king whereas the second lead in the film the female lead is played by karina kapoor who her last year Joby met was both critically acclaimed and publicly acclaimed. The story is basically about, as you see, the tagline of the movie on the poster it says the battle of the sexes. Which is basically the story is about the first, it's basically about how Akshay Kumar and Akuna Kumar hate each other at the start and how they guys really love each other and and, and the opinions of the opposite sex, sex change to the extent that at the start of the movie, Akshay Kumar has a perspective of women that they're only good for one thing and that's the fuck and use that use that uses that to his advantage and he plays with them like every time he invites them all the hot girls to those parties and like first whatever for with whoever he wants and then fucks them after so he uses that to his advantage whereas Karina Kapoor she believes that men are only out for one thing and that is sex and for men that's that, that is a disadvantage because who would want a hot girl like Karina Kapoor right? Especially me, man. So yeah, people. It's about how they at start hate each other, and how they gradually begin their opinions start all the opposite sex change. Once they realize that each each other, Karina Kumar, actually Kumar, actually Kumar, they they aren't really that bad, and they're not they're not like how they thought the opposite sex would be, right? So yeah, so as. They gradually begin their opinions begin, begin to change. As they begin to change, they start falling in love to get more, more in love, and at the end they end up eloping. I mean, I'm gonna say not. What I'm gonna say, they end up eloping, and then they get married. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, as far as the music is concerned, the there are four tracks in the movie: Om Mangalam, Luck Luck, Q, and Bebo. In my opinion, and the most People's opinion, Om Mangalam is the best track of the movie. Of the movie, it has a good beat, solid rhythm. The dancing, the choreography, picturization is also good. What else? Babel Babel is, is a good tool. It's a catchy theme. I love Karina Kapoor dancing. It sounds similar to Game of Dil from Don, Shah Rukh Khan's Don. And Q, Q, I don't know. Q, some people might like it, like the words, but the song is just crap, man. It's shit. I don't like. I don't like it. That's my opinion only. It's a dead song. Whereas Luck Luck, yeah, you already heard it. It's like a party, like bunker type song, a wedding house song. You play it, jump up, like, it's like a song that you jump up from your seat in the movie theater and dance to. That's all, it's a good song. Okay, the acting is concerned. As you come out, he's done a good job. The Colonel Kapoor has done a good job. Both these actors to prove. The Colonel Kapoor has both to go good for it. Before, I never used to like it, but now I. After seeing Joe we met in this movie, she proves to me that she can act. Not only does she have good looks, but she can act. And that can take her a long way in the Bollywood industry. And in any, any kind of industry for that matter. And what else? Um, and yeah. I also have special appearances by Kieran Kier, who plays Karina's mother. She's okay, man, but Karin. Kieran Kier, you gotta stop acting these mother type roles. You're being typecast, alright? Stop it. You're good at it, you're proving that. Now move on to something else, please. Give fans something new to like to like from you, like you about, alright? We're also um Bowman Arani also makes special appearance, he's from that film ninety nine. Yeah, he's 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 there for thirty seconds in the like post post interval portion with Akshay Kumar, and that's probably one of the funniest scenes in the movie. So watch out for that. And Jabba Jeffrey, 
he's like a new immigrant from India or something. But he, he's, his goal is to strike rich in America. He's a lawyer, so yeah. He's not a lawyer, I don't think he's a lawyer, but yeah. He just wants the money, the fast way to money, shortcut. He puts needles in the hot dog, he put needles in his hot dog, I see the hot dog seller, put the needle in his hot dog, so then he then he's gonna sue the guy. That's where the jokes, like, the range of jokes he has. I level up to that one. So yeah. The movie is, oh yeah, I'm into Aurora and after Steve the Sunny play, the role's good. I was actually surprised by them too. But yeah, they're good. And then Amrita Rora also look hot in that bikini, oh fuck. I just came out of the pool. You know, you know what I'm talking about, man. Watch the movie and you'll see. Watching the movie just for those two girls, Kevin Kupo and the other, Amrita Rora, just enough. Pace up, pace up, pace up, pace up, pace up, So yeah. All over India, this movie has been raped by critics. As they're saying that this movie is cheap, vulgar, and sexy, but let me tell you something. Critics are just fucking dumb. If it's a Hollywood movie and they use language like bitch, dog, whatever, they say that the humor is good, right? Which happens in this movie. And the humor is excellent in this movie, right, fans? Don't worry about that. The battle is the chemistry between Akshay Kumar and Kareem Kapoor, how they fight with each other, is just excellent, man. Perfect. But if it was a Bollywood movie, you ask for the critics. If they do it, they give them like a 0 out of 5 and call it cheap, whatever, salt, to vul vul vulgar, whatever, all that shit. And they call it shit movie and just write it off. Let me tell you something. Just because Bollywood is making progressing and they're breaking traditions, traditions. Let me say, I guess it's dumb. Or you you don't know the fuck why they speaking English. They speaking English so they can, so the movies can appeal to a larger mass around the world, right? So people in Mexico, China, Australia, Canada, America can all like the movie, right? So understand what they're saying. But yeah, yeah English subtitles, I know, but still, all right. Mainly, when people are watching the movie, they're focusing on the movie, right? the actual scenes, the, the freaking movie itself, not the fucking subtitles, right? Unless you're like, but it's not a big deal. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, they speak English so they can appeal to a larger fan following, hopefully, for, for potential fan, fan following, and so, yeah, to generate more income from the movie, maybe more profit, more revenue. So, yeah, you get what I'm saying, fucking critics? I write this movie off because you're fucking facts. Even the audience, the directors, and you're saying the, sto the, the story is Bollywood Masala flick. Let me tell you this. It's a typical Bollywood story. It's a Bollywood story. Let me tell you this. So, very kind the director of the movie and the producer, Ero, so, so, Sergeant Aliwala from Eros Entertainment, promised that this movie delivers entertainment, right? And it's a Bali commercial Bollywood Masala flick. So, what can you expect from a commercial Bollywood Masala flick? These are three ingredients if you don't fucking know, right? Good music, good acting, and say the best for last, baby. A typical Bollywood story, alright? So, boy meets girl, forget her, forget her, fall in love, they got trouble from the parents or some shit, and they surpass that, and then, then they end up, end up together. That's what I'm fucking telling you people. Just like me, fans, believe, go by what the producers and the directors are going by right now and that's focusing on what the artist is saying because of response whether it's from India, FM.com, Glassroom.com or Spanish.com the public response the first day for show is all positive 85% positive alright so and also this movie come out Ishka New York was supposed to be the move two movies that were to get the Bollywood industry out of the recession due to the April strike and so it's been doing that New York is already a hit has been declared a hit and Comfort Ishk has already made 100 crores within the first three days of its release. So fans, fuck the critics. The audience likes it. I like it. So go watch it. You won't be disappointed. It's a totally piss off of a soul entertaining film. I'm Master G1234. Peace out. Um, wow. Watch next week. And next week we'll be reviewing the film Luck. Later, people.